Your product does change all the time. Um, this is this is a, a, a new thing. What is the name of this thing that I'm doing right here before I go to anyone? <laughs> uh, that is uh, rainbow vomit. Okay. <laughs> uh, this uh, the Snapchat mapped my face, and there, there's a name for this little uh, the product you're doing. Can we shot to that. There you go. <laughs> is there a name for this tool? This tool uh, is that's a lens. Yeah. Okay. This lens. lens. This lens right here. <laughs> Took a photo of my face and then inserted uh, big eyes, pink cheeks, and rainbow vomit. And uh, I did it here, but people did it for every candidate in the recent Republican <laughs> debate. Jimmy, show them what people are doing. People are doing it. Check, check out these. There is Marco Rubio. There's Rand Paul with exploding love eyes. And here's Carly Fiorina with an evil monocle in her eye. And what interests me, the reason I really wanted to show those is because uh, 18 to 24 year olds, more of them uh, was, were involved or, or, or watched the debate uh, or followed the Republican debate on Snapchat than CNN or on Fox News when they were broadcast there. Is, is this the Snapchat election? It's definitely not the Snapchat election. <laughs> um, probably the people's, definitely the people's election. Um, but the thing that excited us is we really saw an opportunity uh, to you know, not only help politicians reach their constituents, mm -hmm. but really uh, to help people learn about politics in a way that goes beyond just knowledge, like reading about it or even just hearing from a singular newscaster. So we, uh, we have this live story product where everyone who's at an event can upload videos as they experience them. Um, so the people who are actually attending the debate you gotta or be there. Yeah. run into one of the candidates on the street or something like that. Yeah, you have to be at the event to contribute to the story. So mm -hmm. no hashtags required. Mm -hmm. um, but after, or I guess during the event, uh, you can watch on Snapchat as it unfolds from all the different uh, spectators' points of view. Um, you know, so I can do that with a virtual reality helmet on <laughs> CNN. <laughs> So, so actually, no, this is interesting you say that because virtual reality is a little different because it kind of puts you in one place and you yep. can view 360 degrees around it. Yes. But for us, um, it's really about capturing as many different perspectives as possible. So it's almost as if you're like, you know, 100 different people in the audience. Um, and that for us... And uh, all 100 of those different people in the audience can all see from their perspective <laughs> the idiot with the goggles on in the middle <laughs> of the room. Yeah. yeah.